Hey guys, it's me, Quanchbro X39 here doing the Battle of Palelu in LEGO Episode 8. So let's get started. So I'm just going to dive right in and show you guys some of the progress. So first off, I'd like to say there's not a whole lot of progress, but I'm going into kind of why that is later in this video. I'm going to be talking about some Bricklink orders I placed, and that way we can get along with the mod a lot quicker once those Bricklink orders come in this coming week, hopefully. So let's start over here to the left hand side. So as you can see here, I added all those supports so once I got get my order of plates in I should just be able to pretty much lay them on there and have this good chunk filled in with tan plates so that'll go along really quickly I also I finally found I had needed some 1x2 dark blue gray bricks to fill in that little gap so that's good and I still need to order some bricks or um, let's see yeah just bricks to fill in this line here so I can put plates down so that's something on my to-do list Nothing too much back over here. Like I said, I gotta wait for plates to do a lot of things. Over here, did the same thing. So pretty much from this point here, this three brick high point all the way over here. Let's see if I can zoom out here. So pretty much all that from here over will get tan. So that'll be a good addition. And then one to two stud height difference. And I'll just use these plates here. And then over here, I started from here and got to here. So that's probably, if we look at the grand scheme of things, that's probably a quarter of this total length that I worked on the beach. And I actually really like how that portion came out. So if you look, kind of comparison, that little chunk there, I think it blends in really nicely actually. And I'm trying to use this new technique that I'm not actually pushing all the bricks down completely. If you can see that, some of these are just kind of laying there. I just kind of threw them on there and I think it looks really good. So hopefully by next episode, I'll have the full length of this done, which will be cool. Also filled in those last little studs. That's been something I've been meaning to do since last episode when I showed you guys how to clean up that kind of gunk that I had on the base plates. But other than that, let's go into detail of more of what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm here building all these structural supports for these four by six plates that I ordered. And I wanted to show you guys how it really doesn't matter what pieces you use underneath your mock to support up plates or whatever you're doing. So for instance, I had sorted out a bunch of one by one bricks and I had been using them in here to support these two by six plates that I'm running a line down here. So let's see if I grab one here and just place it there. You can see down in there that it really doesn't matter what pieces you use. As you can see here, I built up with mainly two by fours because that's kind of what I had. I used some random pieces like those. I used like some cylinder pieces. Basically any pieces I had, I, there's some Technic pieces down there. And then over here I'd use some one by threes and two by threes because I had them sorted out already. But let's say you don't have all those sorted out. Well, I just simply went to this gray bin. This is all pretty much gray. Um, I didn't really sort it by like part like I normally do. This is kind of my quick sorting of putting like two colors in one bin. So I've just been going in here. Most of them are two by fours, but you could easily use even like these pieces if you just take them apart. And you could easily just stick them down there and stack them up. And that's how much it really doesn't matter what pieces you use as long as it gets you, in this case, three bricks high. And just for some structural support, I could grab a 2x4, it doesn't have to be a 2x4, and then stick it on there and boom, it's solid, it's just as strong as anything else, and you're not going to see that because there's going to be a plate over it. So that's a little tip that I want to let you guys know, that you really don't have to use like specific bricks, like all, you know, certain, let's say all 2x2s or all 2x4s, it can be really anything, so don't waste your time trying to find certain bricks and use all one color, for example, because you're basically just wasting time in the long run. And uh, for if you, let's say you don't have any filler brick, all you have to do is go on BrickLink, look under the brick section, or I guess you could look under like axle section. I know some of these pieces are even cheaper than just a regular two by four. And like I've said this for the third time, it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it. So why not use a cheaper brick? There's no reason to buy some, like two by four that's gonna look nice when you're not gonna see it. So that's a little tip, definitely keep that in mind if you're suspending something, especially plates on a Lego mock.
Alright guys, so I'm here showing you the parts that I found on BrickLink and that I'm ordering for this mock. That's one of the reasons why I haven't been able to do too much because without certain parts I can't really do too much. Now once these orders come in, hopefully they'll be coming in this coming week. You're seeing this, depending on when you're watching this, but this came out on the 20th of December. I should be getting them this coming week, so hopefully by the 25th I'll have all of these orders you never know Christmas does slow things down but that hopefully means that the next episode will have a lot more progress so right here I have 4,000 translite blue one by one studs now these are for water which is really good because I don't really have a whole lot of those If we go back over here I got 314 tan 4 by 6 plates now now that I'm looking at this I actually didn't realize they were used but they were a pretty good price, 13 and a half cents each, which isn't too bad. So for four, or let's see, for 315, roughly 314, I'm getting them for $42. That's, let's see, is that with shipping? No, with shipping, it's like $56. So that's somewhat of a good deal. And uh, hopefully they're not too used. If they're dirty, I'm fine with it. But if they're dented, I'm not fine with it. Because if they're dirty, I can just wash them and I'm totally fine with that. So let's hope and pray that they are in somewhat good condition. So I'm getting those and that'll be for basically covering the majority of the mock. And then last but not least, I'm ordering a whopping 784 1x2 tan plates. Now these are brand new, which is good. And these are going to be used all over the mock to basically cover over those four by six plates and basically add so much more detail to the sand texture and elevation. So these will be coming in very useful and surprisingly it was only $21 for 784 of that. I don't know how many 784 is, but that, that's gonna be a decent sized bag hopefully. So we'll see what that is. And that's actually the grand total, um, 2174 and shipping was actually Pretty cheap, five, six bucks from, let's see, is this from Poland, I believe? Uh, yeah, Poland, so that's actually pretty cheap. So I'll be getting those in hopefully soon and I'll be able to do a lot more progress. So let's get back to the mock. Wait a minute. What is this? I'm done. Not enough. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for episode 8 of building the Battle of Palilu in LEGO. Once again, I want to thank you guys for your continuous support on this video series and in the channel in general. Once again, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, have a great day everybody.